Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be very interesting. I will discuss how you can find duplicates from a Pandas data frame and also we also we, how we can remove duplicates, right? And also in this video, I'm using Jupyter Notebook instead of a Spider. So let me know which interface you like more. I will use that going forward. I feel it is easy to explain in the Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so let's start. So we have this, we, we will first import Pandas library as PD. And I'm reading this CSV file emp.csv. This is in my local system. I'll just run this and see what is there in our data frame. So if you see in our data frame, we have six rows. Index starts from zero till five. And if you see, we have four columns and the first two rows are completely duplicate. Exactly same. One Ankit IT 20,000, one Ankit IT 20,000, right? There are other, other those which can be, du which are duplicate based on employee ID, right? So this is also a duplicate if we look at, at employee ID only. If we, are, if we are looking at full row, then only these two rows are duplicate. Now again for the fourth and fifth, these last two rows, if you see they are not pure duplicate, but based on employee ID, employee name, they are duplicate. Okay. So let's see how we can first find duplicates. So for that we have df dot duplicated. This is a function and it will return you a series. So what is series? So if you look, it is returning you a series of Boolean value. So what it does, it will give, whenever it en encounters a duplicate, it will return true. So if you look at, it is looking at the full, all the four columns. So for first column, first row, it is giving false, right? Now, second row, second row, if you look, this is a duplicate row, right? It has come before. So for that, it will return true. So any row which is coming for the first time, for that, it will be false. And whenever duplicates are coming afterwards, it will be all true. So it is saying this is a duplicate and everything else is false because it is looking at the all four columns. Now let's say I want to see duplicates only on employee ID. Okay. So what I will do, I will run this. So it will check on the employee ID only. df.employee ID I am getting first and then checking duplicates on that. So if you see first is false, employee ID one and then true, true, right? Because these are duplicates based on employee ID. Then again, false, false, true. Because this is false, this is false. Again, this is a duplicate because three has come before. So this is how you can find duplicates. Now, another thing is, if you are looking at a big data set, right? This is a small data set. So you can see how many duplicates are there. So there are three duplicates. Let's say you have a thousands of lakhs of those and you want to see how many duplicates are there. So you can do, just use some function. What some will do, some will take false as zero and true as one and give you the total count of true. So that will be number of duplicates. So if I run this, we should get three, one, two, three, right? So we have got three, right? So this is how you can check how many duplicates are there. Now, next thing is again, in this series, we are not seeing which, which values are duplicate, right? We are just seeing false, true, true. And because these are a small data sets, we are able to see, okay, second and third, this is, this is duplicate and last one is duplicate. But what if we have a big data set? What we can do, we can filter data frame df. So our data frame is df and I'm passing this series. So this series is saying the index zero is false. So it will not return first row. Wherever it is true, it will return, it will return only those rows. So this is how you can filter data frame by passing a series of boolean value. So we should get index one, two and five in the output, right? Only the true one. So let's say, so we have got one, two and five. So this one, this one and the last one, whichever duplicates are there, we got it. Also, we can inverse the condition. So we can use Tinder, this, right? What it will do, it will reverse the condition. So wherever true, it will make false, wherever false, it will make true. So this will give you other those, which are no, which are first, first rows, right? Only this one and Saurabh and first Amit, right? So this is how you can find duplicates. Now, how to drop duplicates, how to delete duplicates. Let's move on to that. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm using another function df dot drop underscore duplicates. Okay. I will just run this and see what will happen. So in the data frame, we have all six rows and let's run this. What it is returning. If you see df dot drop duplicates, it is, it is, we have not passed any columns here, right? So it is checking full row and it is returning first row and not the second row. If you see the index two is there, index one has been dropped because it is a complete duplicate. 
so this is how you can drop duplicates right now what if what if you want to give a column right what if you want to give a column that only based on that column we should drop duplicates okay so what i can do i can say subset equal to i can pass list of columns on which i want to see duplicates so i can pass emp id here okay so now when i pass subset equal to emp id it will check based on emp id and drop duplicates okay let's run this so if you see only three rows are coming so first row is coming and these two are dropped right index 0 is coming again this is coming and then this index 4 is coming this is not coming right so this is how you can check on particular column and drop duplicates now you can say you can say that always first row is there and other two are duplicate uh, dropped right what if you i want to keep last so by default first row is there in the output and all other duplicates are dropped what if i want to keep the last one and drop the initial ones so for that we have this option of keep keep equal to by default it is first which means it will keep the first row okay so again if you see it is keeping the first row index 0 3 and 4 okay if i want to keep last one i will say last so in this case it will return index 2 3 and 5 2 3 and 5 so we have now one ankit cs 25000 and we have 3 amit it 30000 so this is how if you want to keep first, if you want to keep last, you can do it. And last thing I want to tell is when I do this df.drop duplicates, it is just returning the final data set, uh, data frame. It has not modified the df. So if I run the df again, we still have all the data you see. So from the data frame, nothing has duplicate uh, dropped. It is just after duplicate, after dropping, it is showing me the data. What if I want to drop also from the data frame? So for that, we have one more parameter in place equal to true. So in place equal to by default, it is false. So it will not do in the data frame any changes. But if I say in place equal to true in data frame itself, it, it will drop the rows. So if I run this now and if I again check DF, right? So in DF, if you see, we have only three rows now okay so this is all about how to find duplicates how to drop duplicates from the pandas data frame i hope this is useful and also please comment how you are liking this jupiter uh, Ju Ju jupiter ui right interface if it is better i i feel it is better than the, uh, the one i was using earlier spider but do let me know and like this video share this video do try yourself and thanks for watching this video have a good day bye bye